Hello, everybody. Today's episode goes out to all of the bricklayers in the house. All the bricklayers outside the house, this is not for you. Only for the bricklayers in the house watching this video and everybody else, including the outside bricklayers. Lol. Okay, welcome to another continuity analysis preview thingy. Today we are looking at something from Spain, the country of Spain. Oh, look, Cartoon Network, Findes, Findes Cartoon Network. I don't know what Findes means. I should probably look it up. So today's continuity is of, well, Boeing, and it's from July 28th, 2017. So it's pretty, pretty old, if I may say so myself. So what is interesting me is, well, uh, what the word Findes actually means, right? Because you got all these words from foreign languages and you just sometimes you just gotta know what it means right so if you don't know what it means you have the wonderful tool nowadays called the internet and you can just simply take your phone and look it up you can look up any word you like so that's what I'm gonna do uh, very soon so uh, find this I'm gonna type in the word findes, findes. So, weekends. Oh man, it means weekends. Now I feel pretty silly. Findes, weekends. So now we know when this bumper shows about findes Cartoon Network, it means Cartoon Network weekends. So I guess during the weekends, there's this Cartoon Network blo block on Boeing. So, okay, the TV channel Cartoon Network does not exist in Spain, as far as I know. I mean, I hope it appears one day, but there used to be a Cartoon Network in Spain, but then they just made it. They made it go away, and now every every Cartoon Network show is just being shown on Boeing. So that's the story behind this so today's continuity is actually pretty long I'll I'll probably split it up into many parts so we see Ben 10 a rather silly version of Ben 10 like it kind of almost looks like Teen Titans the art style you know they're getting they're getting younger <laughs> they're getting younger and younger and um that's the trend i mean i'm not against it i like the look of it regular show i saw rigby a funny version of rigby on some kind of loop it's almost like a gif i think they replayed it once they played it twice so clowns i don't really like where ben 10 is going the direction it's becoming so shallow that you don't really want to watch it anymore. Don't get me wrong, the way it's drawn, it looks good. It looks pretty. It's 2D animation. I like it much more than 3D animation. I like it more than these robots here, you see, right now. I like Ben 10 still more than this. But somehow, the direction where it's being taken I don't a pretzel I think I heard them say pretzel in Spanish and it's sounded like the same word as people using it in English so I don't like the direction where Ben 10 is going but never mind look at the amazing world of gumball and this um, this rabbit parent we bear bears I watched the very first episode of We Bear Bears and I liked it very much. It was something new and different. And I thought, wow, I might watch this. This was so strange to me, the first episode. Somehow, I don't know why though. And then I was like, okay, all episodes will be like this. And then I watched a couple of more episodes and they weren't as great as the first one. I don't know why. So I, the art style is kind of simplified. My criticism of, oh, 
in regards in regards to these uh, new Renaissance Cartoon Network cartoons is that they're just like how shall I explain it they look like something my classmate would have drawn they look like something a kid would draw they're too simplified gone is the time of these good-looking complicated cartoon characters animation design like from the Looney Tunes you know Hanna-Barbera no now we get what we get is this we get this weird simplified stuff and it just lacks the soul in my opinion like even this Clarence thing suffers from it but I still like it kinda I like some more than I like others and somehow the the ones I like get shown less and the ones I don't like get shown more like Adventure Time is another example uh, you know it's a good cartoon I enjoyed watching it to a certain extent but what I didn't like is the cliffhangers at it after every at at the ending of every episode there's like cliffhangers that never get resolved and I'm like what's the deal with that <laughs> so then I'm like I, I decided to stop watching it because it was kind of upsetting me so yeah and the art style I don't know it's not too impressive it's it's good but it's not too impressive like the Looney Tunes oh Uncle Grandpa well I think I like Uncle Grandpa more than any of these new Cartoon Network cartoons I mean Gumball is an exception I like Gumball it's a different art style more or less So what else do they show here on the Spanish Boeing version? The Powerpuff Girls was a show that I noticed here and some kind of anime from Japan I guess. Um, what is that anime thing? That's interesting. Uh, that's something of interest to me. The Panda like I saw a panda in the Powerpuff Girls and I just don't know what it means is this pan a panda the panda from We Bear Bears or is this unrelated I don't know so we see the mascots the 3D CGI mascots of Boing the TV channel the popcorn lady is that the popcorn lady oh no no that's the mashed up version of two characters combining oh we see pizza steve with mordecai from the regular show so we've got ben 10 uh it started when an alien device did what it did it stuck itself upon its wrist with secrets that it hid because he's uh, i forgot the text no ordinary kid is ben 10 that's the very first Ben 10, I believe. It can turn into an alien before your very eyes. Who's this kid? Yes, Ben 10 is still alive and well in the year 2017 on Boeing, Spain. 2017, man. So uh, it's 2019 right now, so this continuity is two years old. I feel like I'm obligated to mention this. I think I feel like people need to know I need to tell it to everybody or else people will just look at this and just won't know even though it probably says in the title right you can read it so uh, TV channels <laughs> I'm just laughing because of something I thought about a second ago which I will not tell you it's related to uh, uh, thing I saw on TV like there was this dude making random connections like out of nowhere he'll say a word and then he'll he'll say another word and somehow tries to connect connect these two and then like more and then it will lead him to some kind of correct conclusion but 
the the way he reached that conclusion is nonsensical so that's funny so i'm like tv channels i'm gonna do that from now on i'm gonna i'm gonna try to do that chicken lady tv channels chicken lady well you see the chicken lady on tv channels uh you see chickens and ladies on uh, a lot of kids channels kids channels uh disney jr nick jr bumpers you can see bumpers on kids channels and chicken ladies as well i can't get over the fact how silly this chicken lady looks like i don't know somehow she's she kind of looks serious but he, she behaves in a very silly way so uh bumpers station identifications or ids as they call them that's all the stuff you can see on these various continuities spread amongst YouTube and I am a person commenting on them because why not why wouldn't I be doing this I kinda spend the last few years recording and looking and watching at these continu and watching these continuities so I kinda developed a, a like a fondness for this I, got, I grew accustomed to these continuities like, have you ever noticed that when you watch something a lot, you start liking it more and more? I uh, I think that is true for music. If you listen to a song long enough, one day you you will start liking it, and possibly the genre of the music itself. So you can get used to all kinds of things. You can watch something in Hungarian, for example, all day long, and then like you could force yourself at the beginning, or I don't know for some reason you'll start doing it and then you'll get used to it so much that you'll start missing it you'll have withdrawal symptoms and stuff so we see the dinosaur and the chicken lady so a, a dinosaur with a huge head and a, a small body 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 and body did you know that one sound can make a very big difference you could say buddy buddy you're not my buddy pal you're not my pal buddy buddy it's like friend and you can say body like a bodybuilder it means uh, your body I mean your torso arms and legs and head and all that stuff so that's all I'm saying is that you need to watch out what you say because one little mispronounced sound can cause a lot of confusion in this town which we call the intertown because it only exists online well why am I saying this I don't know I find it interesting to make these like it's like wordplay almost it's almost brilliant but almost so not really so we see a clown on a clown car no, but a tiny car on a lawnmower. I don't know what that was. So we see Ben 10, and they're acting pretty silly. Too silly for my taste. Somehow I feel... I don't know. When I look at these clips from Ben 10, this version, I, I think that it's not that good. I remember seeing... I remember watching a, uh, a couple of episodes... And I was thinking to myself, this is pretty good. But now when I look at this these bumpers, these promos, uh, I don't I'm not really impressed. Okay. So the anime we see here is probably Yokai Watch. What's with this panda? Like, did you see that panda just now? I really don't like how it looks. The panda in uh the Powerpuff Girls. I like the the panda in Wee Bear Bears more or less. The professor I, I don't like it. I don't like him. I don't know. I don't think I like the Powerpuff Girls reboot at all. I gave it a chance. I watched it. I still remember the original Powerpuff Girls. They still resemble them a lot, but the way they behave is not like them at all. So, we see a mobile phone and a finger swiping on a mobile screen device touch screen device remember old phones where you could just 
you know, press on any button and your finger wasn't in the, in the way of the screen. Remember when, you, when your screen didn't need to always be greasy, right? You can just clean your screen and it stays clean because you use the buttons to press on it. Well, long, long gone are the days of that time. Now we, we are forced to have touchscreen phones because no manufacturer produces uh, these smartphones with buttons. Sure, they produce them, but like there are some exceptions. But the phones are not really smartphones. The phones that have these buttons, physical keyboards, they don't have nearly the enough, nearly enough functionality to you know do anything in the real world nowadays like they're made for old people so and uh, there are some that try to implement these physical keyboards or on modern smartphones but they're so expensive I can't afford any any phone like that so I'm stuck with a touchscreen phone and I don't like it because it's they're they're not comfortable to hold them in my hand they make my hand hurt and I can't use one hand I have to use two hands so both of my hands are busy when I'm using a smartphone which is not so great if you think about them these are pretty serious downsides what if you um, I mean yeah they they are trying to make the screen size as big as possible but I don't like it I would rather have a smaller screen screen size and like live with it and have some kind of physical keyboard or a trackpad or something right I don't like the current design of the cell, the cell phones I don't see it changing because it's like it's it's stupid right it's the easy, easiest to use for your mind somehow more or less even though that's also debatable but I mean it's not the easiest to use for your fingers but it's the easiest to use for your mind you see it you click it it's stupid right simple and stupid so I guess it's it's very well designed for babies and nothing is at a, the same place all the time the screen keeps changing and you don't have dedicated buttons for anything you know so I like things to be more predictable but whatever those times are long gone of keyboard phones even though there could be a slider phone, right? I mean, the whole operating system doesn't need to be designed around touchscreen input. But, I mean, this is where the direction is going. I miss the old Nokia phones. The only thing they didn't have was Wi-Fi. Well, the later ones had Wi-Fi, I think. But, and, and real internet browsers. So, they didn't have that functionality even the later ones probably did but the internet keeps changing so you uh, you know you buy a laptop for the internet in 2001 and then many years later in 2019 the internet has become so complicated that loading websites on the same computer does not work anymore like the hardware is so slow that you can't really watch YouTube videos anymore and the the thing is that many years ago you were able to watch these same videos and websites and nothing about your hardware changed so like the internet changed they're adding a lot of JavaScript and all that stuff and HTML 5.0 if you know what I'm saying but enough about that let's talk about me I'm the Burger King. I'm the king of the burgers. And if you, you're hungry and if your appetite is strong, you got to come here and order a burger because I own a restaurant and uh, all that stuff. No, that's a story that's, that, that's imagined. None of it is true. I am not a Burger King. I am not a McDonald's either. I am a person looking at two mascots sitting on a seesaw and then like morphing into one or something 
So the popcorn lady morphed with this green drum guy and she became, oh, Uncle Grandpa. At first I found the idea kind of creepy. Like an old man, I don't know, I'm not gonna go into it. But I mean, then later I kind of started liking it a lot. I like, I started liking the cartoon for some reason. That reminds me, I need to find a way to watch these episodes. So yeah, I can't, I think this continuity has turned out pretty long and you know, there will be a part two. So I guess I'll end this review of Cartoon Network. No, this is not Cartoon Network, of Boeing Spain. And uh, I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.